When modding Skyrim, one of the biggest obstacles people face is performance and getting their game to run smoothly with a stable frame rate. That's why I wanted to showcase a fairly simple method that everyone can use to both increase performance as well as gain some invaluable FPS. And all that's required is the program called Lossless Scaling, which is available on Steam for just a few dollars. This program comes with two different methods to increase your frame rate, both of which have a few pros and cons. First up is what's called frame generation. This method generates extra frames between your normal frames to either double or even triple your frame rate. As an example, my game would normally fluctuate between 50 and 60 frames depending on where I am and what I'm doing. But with frame generation turned on, my frames double to between 100 and 120 frames per second no matter what I'm doing in game. This of course sounds great and does create a much more smooth gameplay experience. However, there are some downsides because your game doesn't actually know these frames are being generated, meaning even though you experience 100 frames on screen, your game is still actually running at 60 FPS. This process can cause what we call input delay, essentially creating a small delay between when you press a key and when the action happens on screen. Now this will be different for everyone, but in my experience it wasn't significant and was only really noticeable in a fast paced combat situation or when using for example a dodge mod. There are also ways to help mitigate this issue such as capping your frame rate in game, for example 60 frames per second and in my experience, increasing your look sensitivity also helped. Saying that, if you struggle to get say 20 frames in game normally, your game will still be running at 20 frames per second in the background, potentially creating a more significant input delay. That's why this method should only really be used to make your gameplay feel smooth and to reduce stuttering. If you want to get better game performance, the other method called scaling will actually help by increasing the frame rate of your game. How this works is you lower your in-game resolution to say 1080p, 720p or even lower and then let the program upscale your game back to your native resolution, in my case 1440p. For example, when I sent my game to 1080p and then upscaled it, I gained roughly 10 to 20 FPS in most situations, which of course is fantastic. However, there is a downside, your visual quality will suffer. For me personally, I noticed certain objects such as fire didn't look as good anymore and distant objects were sort of blurry or pixelated. But if you don't mind these visual imperfections, this is another great way to gain some valuable FPS. Now there is also another upscaler available for Skyrim by Pure Dark, which in my opinion is better and has access to better tools, but if you either can't use this because of your GPU or just don't want to use it for reasons, this is also a perfectly good option. Of course, you can also use both methods together to both upscale your game resolution and generate frames at the same time to make your gameplay feel smooth and performance friendly. For those unsure about the settings, I just set mine to frame generation version 2.1 and use times 2 instead of times 3 to reduce input lag, then switched everything else to no. For scaling, I used the Nvidia image scaling option to upscale from 1080p to 1440p simply because I have an Nvidia GPU. But I recommend playing around with the settings to find what is best for you. You also need to make sure you are playing the game in windowed mode or borderless full screen for the program to work properly and of course you can use this with any game you want, not just Skyrim. Overall though, I was very surprised and found this to be a great way to make my modded Skyrim gameplay feel smooth as well as reduce stuttering and although I won't be using the scaling method, it is a great option for others. So if you're struggling with frame rate, I hope you give this a try because you may just be pleasantly surprised. Otherwise, thank you for watching and happy modding everyone.